Let's hope this stays up. Hi, everybody. Hey, it's me, Jill. And I am broadcasting once again from the confines of my lovely living room. You give me just a sec, though. I got to prop you up. I got to prop you up a little bit higher. Grab a mat, but thank you for being here. 5.30 on a Monday. It's exciting stuff. Where, I have like 117 books, yet yeah, not a single one of them here when I need it. You guys, you hang tight. I'll be right there. All right. Gonna get you all set to have an awesome rockin' Monday. Gonna switch it up a little bit too. Here we go. Nice, you know what? Let's take, let's take these guys and this and see what we can do. Yeah, it's happening, it's gonna happen. We're gonna make this business Get busy with business. So if you're out there, because it is 5:30, and you want to start, uh, start in with your, with your warm up, with your jumping jacks, with your jogging in place. Hey, you guys, so good to see you again. I'm gonna try and we got a funny, funny little setup here, but it's gonna work. I think we can make it work. I think I can make it work. <laughs> oh my gosh, the fun of home broadcasting. Yeah, just start jogging. Jog in place, girls and boys. Let's do it. We got it. You jog in place. I'm going to get my mat down here. Maybe while you're doing all this jog while I'm doing some mat stuff. You know how this rolls. We start with the warm up. We start with something that gets our heart rate up just a little bit. And then we rock and roll from there. Let's get a little high knees up there. Perfect, perfect. All right, my friends. I'm going to have you do just a little bob and weave. I'm going to have you do a bob and weave. I'm gonna open my blinds, maybe get some light in this situation. Maybe get you guys a little bit of light. There we go, bob and weave. Nice, you got it. We're gonna add a little bit of a punch to the ceiling. Here we go, let's get it in. Boom, awesome. There you go, there you go. Lower body, upper body, warm up, let's cross it out left and right. Let's do it here. Boom, nice, there you go. Big, big stretch across the body. Let's get some big arms in there. Chances that I'm going to hit this plant are about 110. Bottom zero. And then cross it out again. Let's do it. Whew. Feeling good to be here on a Monday with you. Rocking solo. We haven't been in my living room together in a while. Let's reach up. But here we are. Loving it. This crazy, rainy, sunny day where rainbows are out. Let's go jog in place again. There we go. Jogging in place. Tripping up on the mat. <laughs> nice. There it is, let's get those high knees up there again. Good. And what we're gonna do is some wide squats to stand. So squat and then stand. See that clever way to adjust the mat? Squat and up. Whew, good. There we go. Let's get a few more in here. Awesome. Two, nice. And one, excellent. Let's stretch it right to left. Right into the left and right to the left. Whew, I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. If you're a live viewer, this is going to be your Monday replay. Lean that shoulder down, hold it there. If you're a replay viewer, whatever day this is, I still hope you had a great weekend. <laughs> Another time on each side. There it is. Good, good, perfect. All right, so what we're going to do is just turn our body. We're going to get into a runner's lunge. So nice long leg, hands on either side of your toes, and then just pivoting forwards and backwards. Big long line along the back of that body. There you go. Perfect, and then I want you to drop that knee down, okay? We're gonna lean forward. My right leg is in the front. So I'm gonna lean forward and pull over to the right leg. Good long stretch in the hip flexor there. And then let's pull that back and stretch out the hammy on that right leg. Woo! So you have a pretty decent little in home workout, let's go ahead, get down low, wide squat, get down low, stretch. Something has a little bit of a little bit of cardio on it, but not too crazy with the impact. Let's go ahead, get to the other side, runner's lunge, stretch it, pivot back and forth. Good, good. Nice, and then drop that knee down. Let's go ahead, bring our body up, lean forward, hold it over to the side. I don't know what your view is like, but I have a I have a gorgeous view of my garden right now. <laughs> it's hopeful. 
I know it's been a lot of rain lately, but it is what makes all these beautiful flowers grow. At least out here in Seattle, we have been in full-fledged spring for a little while now, and it's pretty awesome. Let's do a nice roll up. Woo. All right, we're gonna go ahead with those squats to tippy toes. So feet in just a little bit. Let's squat down low, up to the tippy toe. And again, if you're tuning in, hi, thank you for being here. Woo, I thought I could just, uh, just sit down, you know, stand up. Functional fitness, my friends. Let's get in two more at least. Good, good, okay, let's open up some of those hips. So take that knee, trace it, big half circle in front, big half circle there. We'll do a few of these. Excellent. Whew. Yes. There we go. One more on each side. There you go. All right, you guys. Let's bring our one knee up into the chest. This probably is the uh, right knee to you. Rotate that ankle around. Nice big stretch. Be proud. So, you guys, have you had me be able to hit any of the outdoor workouts? Posting a couple of them out here in West Seattle. I know Magnolia's got them. Queen Anne's got them. Big Crown Hill's been rolling them. Let's go ahead and give that hammy a stretch again. Standing, push that hip back. Remember, log into that mind-body. That's the way it counts when you're logging in here in these live workouts. Want to make sure that if you're signing up for a class, you're in that mind-body program. And I've gotten some emails, people with some questions about how they log in, and that's great. If you're having trouble, if you're wondering what's going on, please, please email us. We'll try and help you. And if I don't know what's going on, I'm going to direct you to somebody who can help you. I know what's going on right now is we're stretching before our awesome Monday workout. Shake it out a little bit. Let's go to the other side. Good. Excellent. All right, shake that out a little bit. We're going to go ahead and bring our arms up over our head. Nice long stretch in one direction. Breathe, nice stretch in the other direction. You know, it's, you know what I like? You know I like my hula hoop hips, so we're getting some hula hoop hips in there. But really big hips in the swing in motion, however that works for you. So you want to loosen everything up, you guys are going to do two flat back downs. So big long stretch, hips are out, bodies long, tuck your chin under, slowly roll up. Oh, and then one more time, big long stretch. Tuck it under, roll it up, let that spine say hello. You can say hello back, shoulder blades back, and let's get a little shuffle. Just a little boxer shuffle. If you want to add your pretend jump rope, you can. Some, uh, some of my friends out there, a little jump rope friends, let's get some high knees up there with that. If it makes it more fun for you, go for it. You know, I'm a big proponent of fun. You guys, we're going to go ahead and do some of those butt kickers in three, two, one. Give me your butt kicks. There it is, nice and high. Get those feet up. And then high knees, you ready? There you go, good, good. Keeping them up there. All right, we're gonna do some squat jumps here in four, three, two, one, take it down and then up. Nice tall squat jumps. Good. And then we'll get some fast feet here in three, two, nice, one, let's get those fast feet. Good, good, good. Back to those squat jumps in two, one, there you go. We need about five of them right here. Stick with it. Two more. And fast feet, you guys, we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Yeah! Perfect. Shake it out for a minute. I'm going to grab myself a liqueur. And try to adjust your lighting a little bit here. All right. All right. Okay. Whew. This good, my friends. All right. Um, hey, you guys. Go live with Anne. And that, me too. Okay. Thank you for being here. And let's get to the workout. And you know what? Clever me this time. Grab my trusty stopwatch from the studio. Yeah, that's right. Planning ahead of time. So, sweet routine. Uh, you guys, we're going to go through them. I'm going to have to hold this little piece of paper up. Make sure I remember what we're doing. Uh, this could be an equipment -less workout today. Uh, if you want to grab resistance bands or weights or whatever, you know the drill by now. We've been doing it for like three months. So, some of you for four years here. So, the first move is going to be that squat to kick. We already practiced that squat, getting down low. 
Standing up tall, add that kick in there. Squatting down low, standing up tall. If you have weights, this would be a great time to add that bicep curl in there. Squat to kick. With that kick, remember, it is a squat to stand balance kick, okay? None of this, woo, thing that people just, I want you to stand for, even if you have to stand for a second, snap that kick, that's our first move. Our second move is an arrow to froggy abs. So, like an abro, you know, basically a narrow would be our abro, our regular abro with knees together. Our froggy, we're gonna put those feet together, knees come out, and you reach in between, okay? So add a narrow ab row, we're coming out low, bringing it together, right? Hands would be on the outside of the knees, froggy ab row, knees open up, and we reach. So narrow to froggy, that's our move number two. Our third move is gonna be crab touches, you're here, whip, lift that body up, keep that butt as high off the ground as you possibly can, find balance between the opposite points of your body, and reach up, touch, crab touches, you guys. Nice and strong, it takes a lot of balance to get to this point. If what you need to do is kick, then reach, kick, then reach, that's a move as well. Those are our first three moves. Fourth one is going to be an agility hop. For this one, I may just squeeze my mat out for a sec. So agility hop, right? A lot of times agility is those side movements. What we're gonna do is just one hop to the side. Hop, hop, it's just gonna be a hop. Launch and balance, launch and balance, launch and balance, I want you to hold that then hold it. Okay, really get that cross body crunch at the top. Fifth move is going to be, it's on my face. Leg drop with a twist. Woo, oh yeah. So we know our leg raises. They come up, they come down, up and down. If you want to throw your thumbs under your butt, you can. The leg drop with a twist. Start at the top and as you're dropping, you twist so almost your side hip is on the ground. The side of your feet are towards the floor. Come up to the top. Lift and twist. So your torso is twisting at the top and you're dropping it down. Twisting. Now, if you want to throw your thumbs under your butt, you know it's an option. If you can only go down a little bit, that's going to be another alternative. If you can't make your legs all the way to the ground, no problem. I'd rather have you keep your mid back on the ground and only drop down to here than have a huge arch as you come low, right? That's not doing anything for your abs. You want to make sure your abs are engaged this entire time. And our very last move. Fan favorite, quad blasters. So, go ahead. You know, hands and knees, I'm actually putting my feet against the back of my couch, I don't know if that's in the frame, but I have the opportunity to do so, so I'm going to. My shoulders are over my wrists, all the way up, down and up, down and up, blasting quad muscles in the front. Just drop the butt down, pushing it back up, the front of that body stays in place. Whew, I think that's it for right now. now we are gonna roll it in a little bit of a different way today. Last time to do Mighty Minute Monday this time. Instead, you guys, we're gonna get 30 seconds on, a 15 second break, and then we're gonna do 30 seconds on a transition, okay? So in trainers, it would be 30, 15, 30, 15. Two transition moves in the first round. We're gonna alternate them. First, we have mountain climbers. Just driving in, we know there's mountain climbers. If you wanna cross body climb, you can. The second move in the first round is going to be bicycle abs, okay? Left right, left, right, bicycle abs. Again, these are moves you can do with a uh, band around your legs if you have it. Go for it. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. And I think it's time to get started. I'm gonna get you guys a chance to uh, grab a drink of water, grab a towel, maybe put your hair up. Not that that's what I'm gonna do, but that's what I'm gonna do, so I'll be right back. Woo, woo. I like it. I'm excited about this workout. All right. Okay, here we go. Now, 30 seconds on, 15 second rest, 30 seconds of climbers. That's how we're gonna run this first round. I have got my timer right here. Smart Jill. And we're gonna go squat and kick, okay? Whew, I like it. I'm shaking it out, I'm ready, you guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Stand up, you got three, two, one, and let's do it. Squat low, stand to that kick. Squat low, stand to that kick. Now again, that squat, right? It's back. I always say the first move part of a squat, weights in the heels, hips come back. If the hips are going back first, you know that your knees are not gonna be over your toes. Also, if it helps, you guys are past halfway, try and take your big toes off the ground. Just lift your toes off the ground a little bit. 
really forces you to get back into that, you guys. You got four, three, two, and one. Cool. This is gonna seem like a really long break. 15 seconds somehow gets shorter and shorter the longer we do these routines. So we're gonna go into those mountain climbers for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I know you love climbers. Come on now. Three, two, and go for it. Drive those climbers in there. Now remember, when we say, keep that body forward, shoulders over the wrists, it's because a lot of times you go back here and guess what? You're taking all the effect out of that move. It should be your abs, should be your whole body. Driving it in. I should be looking between your fingertips. You guys, we got three, two, one. Nice. All right, one down. High five. Good job. Good job. All right, you guys, we're going to go with those wide to uh, those froggy, those narrow to froggy abros. Get ready. You got three, two, one, and here we go. So a narrow, and then you come in, open those knees up for those froggies. Whew, good. If you want to put your hands on the ground, feel free to. If you don't want to come back as far, and this is as much as you can do, that's okay. Coming on in, you're right past halfway. You can do this. Keep that chest lifted. Keep those abs strong. Yes, indeed. Five seconds. There it is. Three, two, one. Whew. Good work. Hot diggity dog. We're already at our first set of bike abs. Yeah, abs to abs. That's how it's working, you guys. All right, we got five seconds. Lay it down. Like I said, if you got that band on, put it on, take it off, whatever you got to do. Three, two, and go for it. Got those abs. And we always have these cues, right? Pretend you're leaning with your shoulders, okay? None of this business where you're just crunching your elbows and keep those elbows wide. Like you're trying to kiss the sun. Beautiful face, leaning up to the top. You're doing a great job. We're past halfway, you've got less than 15 seconds to go. I want you to push through it. 30, 15, 30, 15, a full 30 seconds on these transition moves, my friends. You got two and one and nice. All right, whew. How are you feeling so far? I'm feeling pretty good. We got crab touches coming. You might face you this direction. Look at the other part of my garden. We got three, two, one, and lift up tall. Touch and touch. A little bit of balance there. Woo. Nice, good. Good, good, good. Now remember, I said, if you have to do that leg and then reach, I really want you to lift up on that reach, okay? Should always be really lifting on that reach. That's part of it, you're past halfway. We have 10 seconds. Whew. I love a good Monday. Love working out with you guys. You got four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, shake your wrist out for a second. We got climbers coming again. You know what? I'm a, I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna do them this way. I'm gonna get a little tricky on it. Sound good? Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one, hit it. Work out with me here. Push these climbers with me. I know you're still going on the other side of that screen. You got me in your little world. I got you in my little world. Whew. I dig it. If you want to do that crossbody, start whittling away that waist, baby. There you go. You're so good. You got 10 seconds. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Do my best to keep my butt down, chin forward. Focus. And we've got three, two, one. What do we got next? Agility hops. Oh, yeah. Just one big hop to the left, one big hop to the right. Hold it for a moment. Use that core balance. Got a little orb happening here. <laughs> In two, one big launch, hold, hold, hold. Just like that. Big launch to the side. It's one of those moves, you ever uh, go running and almost fall, but then you catch yourself? These are those uh, catch myself muscles that we're using here. You're doing great. You're halfway. Whew. Good. Really squeeze it at the top. Uh, here we go. In four, three, two, one. Good. Nice work, nice work. Are you guys, are you, are you sweating at all? Sweating a little bit. If you're, sweat, if you're sweating, start singing her. Good Lord, turn up the heat. Here we go, guys, bike abs. And three, two, go, go, go. Don't want to miss a second of those bicycle abs. Really getting in there. 
Kick it, kick it. Now, if you want to go fast, you can go fast. If you want to go slow, you go slow. If you want a bigger challenge, up, down, up, down, single out those bike abs. It's all up to you. You're way past halfway. You got less than 10 here, though. Okay, lift those shoulders up. Come with me here. We got three, two, and one. Whew. Are we, uh, are we at quad blasters already? No, we're at leg drop with a twist. How could I forget? It's one of my faves. All right, let's get ready to drop those legs with a twist. Start on your back, legs in the air, in two, one, <coughs> and go. Pardon me. <coughs> Got a little, a little ring with gum in my throat. There you go, lift up, twist. So it's almost like the side of your hips, you'll notice mine, are swiveling and dropping down. So you should feel that side butt woo, right there on the floor. You got 10 seconds left. Twist at the top, a little bit of a lift, so it's almost a little bit of a reverse crunch. And like I said, if your legs don't go as far down, totally okay. You only go as far down as you can control it. We have two, one, and nice. Whew. Right from these to mountain climbers. But this is the great news, it's your last set of climbers in that first round. So we're getting close. You're almost there, we're almost to break time. And two, one, ooh, let's get it, let's get it. Let's do it. Climb that mountain, my friends. This is your chance to get to the top. You're racing to the top there. Go, 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 go. Push that body forward. Pull those abs in. You gotta say I love the challenge. I embrace it. I like this. It feels good, right? It feels good that you set aside time to do this workout today. You said I'm not gonna let it stop me. I got goals. I'm reaching them. We got three, two, one. Good. Good golly, Miss Molly. Woo! A little phew push over there, quad blasters. So like I said, I have my feet pushed up against my um, couch, but you don't have to. In three, two, one, and go. Just dropping down and pushing up. All the way up. Big extension, big extension. Ooh, you want to take it up a notch? Single leg it out, babe. You got 15 down, 15 to go. Whoo, push it, yes. Big strong legs. You wanna get that little uh, that little V muscle above your knees? This is working that. You got three, two, and one. <sighs> Woo! All right. Wait, Gabs, for 30 seconds, and then we take a big old break. Come on, gigantic break, but enough of a break that uh, it's more than 15 seconds. Lay down, bike Gabs. Let's finish round one strong in two, one. Ooh, ooh, let's go. Woo wee! I like it. You know. I love having that whole studio to work out in. And I love my workout partners, but when I'm at home, I don't know about you, but I get to see the sky, see the outside, be around all the surroundings that I love. You're past halfway. I feel like I'm cycling the clouds. You guys keep going, keep going. Woo, that's how I get through my workouts. You got four, three, two, and one. Woo, yeah. Good job, high five, round one is done. Yeah, yeah. Totally done. Oh, it's good. We're not done. Just round one is done. This hair is done for sure. It's gonna go back up again. Good job, you guys. How you feeling? Feeling all right out there? Feeling good, feeling strong. Because we got a whole other round coming. We have a few more rounds coming, a couple more at least. Um, this one, we're gonna change our transition moves. Transition moves are gonna be a little bit more um, engaged in the standing position. So our last two moves, mountain climbers and bike abs are down the mat. Our next two moves. Okay, I'm throwing some of my faves in here. I love touchdown squats. You thought we would be doing touchdown squats again for a while after Cindy's Friday, but oh no. I like them, I like them. Touchdown. Keep that body high. Keep it up high. We should be able to have a conversation with each other because you're looking at me, not the ground. When we work out on those touchdown squats, our second move is going to be lunge pulses. Okay. I'm keeping my mat up just a bit for this. Take that back knee, drop it down, and pulse. We're still doing that 30, 15, 30, 15. So when I say halfway, you want to switch that? Go ahead. I want pelvis tucked forward. Back knee is dropping. We aren't lunging forward. We're letting it drop low. Okay? It's going to be your next one. I'm going to take a little across it. Uh, not sponsored by them at all, but I'm preferring the key lime flavor today. Hmm. 
All right. You guys doing good? Okay. Let's get another. Let's get another one going. It's good to have you here. What's happening? What's happening here? Can you guys post some pictures of yourself mid-workout? So I feel confident about this mid-workout here. You guys, we got squat to kick. Let's get ready here. 30 seconds on. 15 seconds rest before touchdown squats in. Three, two, one. Boom. Squat to kick. Squat. Kick. Squat. Snap that kick. This is one you could do even if you had a band, even if your kick was a little bit lower. It was above your knees. You could get that done. Again, squat low. Kick up tall. You're halfway. Open those knees up at the bottom. You're tearing a little piece of paper apart with your feet. Really stick it into those glutes. Squeeze your abs. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Single leg right there. Feel it engage. Boom. Here we go. Three, two, one. And yes. Whew. Touchdown squats, you think? Oh, we know it. It's almost too long to it. 15 seconds. I'm itching to get my touchdown squats in. Here we go, you guys. Three. Two, one, woo, woo. Let's go, let's go. 30 seconds. You and me, working out together. I'm your gym partner, you're mine. And we're gonna focus and we're gonna complete this routine together. Beginning to end. You only got 15 left. Keep going. Again, keeping that body raised. Body tall, legs wide at that squat at the bottom. Almost there. Five seconds, come on now. There you are, you got three. Two, one. <sighs> Woo! All right, oh my gosh, now to wide froggies. I'm gonna stick with this direction. I like the bright blue sky out there. I like you being here too, but we got two, one, and go. I was gonna say, but I know when you're doing these, you're focused with your eyes up, right? You can look at the screen if you want, but I want you to focus on those and pulling the abs in. That is what is bringing you up and down. You might feel it in your hip flexors in the top in front of your thigh. It's okay, these things are connected. You know, the ankle bone's connected to the knee bone and all that. You guys, somehow, you got four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna lunge pulse it out. A lunge pulse. We're gonna move this guy out a little bit. This is gonna work either way. I'm gonna go sideways for you, okay? And two, one, and go. Nice. Whoo! Good, good, good. So again, I would say, when I say your hips are like headlights, facing forward, tuck your pelvis in, squeeze the glute in the back, you're halfway. And notice those knees, these 90-90 legs, okay? These are very effective moves, but you gotta keep your form right. You gotta stay in that good form. Keep going, you guys. You got three, two, one, and break. <sighs> From frogs to crabs, ladies and gents, and everything around that spectrum in between. Grab your dogs and your cats, get them in the crabby position, crab touches. Three, two, one. Let's hit it with me. Woo! Is it, is it just me or is that first one always a little bit, a little bit quirky? It's all right, it's all right. The whole idea here is that you do your best always. And if you know that you're pushing as hard as you can, then that makes it worth it. That time you carved out, you know at the end you're gonna get those results you were looking for. You got less than 10 left to go. Keep going, guys. We got five, four, and three, two, one, and yes. Yeah, yeah. Weezes, back to touchdown squats. Back to touchdown squats. All right, you ready? Just five seconds. Breathe with me. Three, two, one, and hit. Woo! There it is. All the way out, all the way up. Drop it down. Woo! I like it. Something, something strangely satisfying about the sound of tennis shoes on a wood floor working out. <laughs> there you go. Brings me back to the old aerobicizing days. Ten seconds left. Stick with that. So one of your last couple sets here. You guys, you got about four, three, two, and one. What do we got? Ooh, Julie hops. Ooh, yeah. Big deep breath. You're doing a great job. Stay with me. We've got about three, two, one, go. Whew. 
Cross in the crunch, body. Get down low. Just those big long slides. So you know how we do speed skaters? We throw our foot back. This time we're keeping it up top. Really getting that cross body action. Good work, my friends. 10 seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up. Really launch and stop. Launch and stop. Little agility is right there. You got four, three, two, and one. Woo! Lunges. Lunge pulses. <laughs> All right. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Here we go. Three, two, one, and going back. I'm going to try and lunge pulse on the outsides of my mat. I think it's a pretty good distance. Front and back of that yoga mat. Yeah. Then I get to look at you for you. Your cool faces out there. Halfway, switch it up. I'm picturing, picturing y'all here in front of me. We're all working out together. It's going to happen, I promise. It'll happen, but right now, we're doing this together. And I love it. We got three, two, one. It keeps me going, keeps me motivated. All right, leg drop with a twist. Roll it round, drop it down, drop it down. Woo. All right, we got about four seconds here. Breathe, and two, one, yes. Leg drop with that twist. Lift up tall, twist. Come down, if you wanna take your head off the ground, lift those shoulders a bit. Totally okay. This is one of those ones where the resistance you're bringing on the way up is just as important as the twist while you're dropping down, okay? So really focus. If you wanna go fast, you can, but I prefer not to speak this move. Really effective when you're really pushing and pulling with that resistance moment. You got three, two, one, and yes. All right. I don't wanna break your heart, but it's our last set of touchdown squats. So, uh, appreciate the romance. It's almost over. Two, one, let's go. Whew. It's all right, it's all right. And you know what, hey, if you like these a lot and you want to do them on the next one instead of lunge pulses, it's all right, it's all good. They're both, they're both leg moves, and that was the point with the second round. First round, bike abs, climbers, also ab moves, right? So you want to stay with it. You're doing so awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're almost there. We got four, and three, two, and one. Woo! -woo! Okay, going quad blasters. And those lunge pulses, so uh, get ready, legs. You're like, legs are always ready. And two, one, hit. Down and up, down and up. Good. Whew. Really get them done. The faster you go, the quicker the burn will come on. And the more burn you feel, it is burning, it's working. Good, 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 you guys. A little match sticks up those legs, it's so good. It's awesome. Keep going, keep going. Blast it out, guys. We got about five, four, good. Three, two, one. Oh, man. Stand up, shake that out. Lunge pulse is coming. I'm going to go with that trick again with that mat. Woo! Breathe with it. In two, one, go. Got that little, little 30, 15, 30. Extra time on our transitions today. Transition Monday. I love it. Switch. There you go. Whoo! Yes, you're so close. So close. Keep breathing. Five seconds, five seconds. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one. Whoo! Oh my gosh. Round two done. My, my watch is like, is that? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. You get a little towel off action here. Woo! Yeah. All right, all right. Okay, oh, sorry. It's leaving you with the booty. <laughs> all right. You guys, we do have a last round coming. It's going to be a speed round. Because in between, we're going to do a little extra something, something. All right. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do push-ups, we're gonna do sit-ups, we're gonna do donkey kicks with extensions. Push-ups, sit-ups, donkey kicks, okay? 
We got 30 seconds on all of them. We're gonna do both push-ups and sit-ups, donkey kick switch at the end in each leg, okay? Just follow me, get in your push-up position. Here we go. We have got four, ready, three, push-ups, two, one, and go for it. Sweet so solid push-ups. Nice and strong, chin is up, core is tight, squeeze the glutes. You can do it if you drop to your knees, it's all right. Why don't you stay with me though? Pull that body forward, elbows are back like an arrow, you're halfway. Keep going. You got this, you are strong enough. You can do this. If I can do it, you can do it, trust me. You have the same downloadable spirit. You got about four, three, two, one. Take a break. 10 seconds, full sit ups. Let's do one little sit up foot tuck like I used to like to do with my couch. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Up and down, up and down. Now, I can take my feet out from under the couch and get it done. But I like having that little extra something really changes it up a bit. You're halfway. Keep breathing. Keep going. Whew. Sweating and loving it. It's a little dessert. Throw a little, a little tiramisu at you. At you. You guys, we got about five, four, three, two, one. K. Okay. Hands and knees or forearms and knees. Donkey kick to extension. So you're going to bring your knee in, leg extended out, and go. Knee in, leg extension. I want that toe strong facing the floor. I want those abs tight. That back should not be bowing. Squeeze and extend. Knee in, squeeze at the top. Have that, that mind muscle connection in there. You're doing great. You got 10 seconds. You can do this. Breathe with me. We got five, four, good. Three, two, one, and breathe. Okay. Push up one more time. Sweaty eyes, sweaty fingers. Let's go in three, two, one. Whew. Love it. All the good stuff is happening right now. All the determination. All that calorie burn, all that muscle build. It's right here. It's right now. We got to go to the end though. You got to stay with me. I'm right here. I'm right here with you. Feeling it. But knowing that you're out there makes me stronger. So I want you to get less than 10 here. You're almost done. We got five, four, good, three, two, one. Awesome. Oh, so good. Let's flip it over. Sit ups. Almost done. You got one minute left on this dessert. Let's finish it up. And two, one. Dessert's one of those little, one of those meals they don't have to tell you. Finish everything on your plate. You're like, ooh, gladly. Ooh, more sit ups. Yes, please. I'll take seconds on those abs. All right, you guys, you're doing great. You're about halfway right there. Halfway, all the way down, all the way up. You wanna lay down all the way, come all the way up, your call. We got less than 10. We're almost done with dessert. You got three, two, one. Cool, switch it over. Extension on that other leg. I like to be on my forearms, bringing the belly button in. Elbows and shoulders in line in three, two, one, let's go, last set. Donkey kick it in, extend it out. Nice and strong. Push those hips, make sure they're over your knees. No any forwards or backwards. Toe to the ground, squeeze in. You're doing a spectacular job out there. I can tell. I know you're sticking with it, 10 seconds. Work those legs. Yeah, buddy. Here we go, four, three, two, and one. Oh, done the dessert, lick that plate. Lick that plate. You're like, I could, I could lift my arms. Okay, you guys are doing awesome. Are you ready? We got, we got speed round in the edge here. Our cool down is gonna be minimal. I'd rather have us work out more. Yeah, all right. You can always cool down without me. But I don't want you working out, I don't wanna work out without you. Let's do this, you guys. Squat to kick, last set. 30 seconds, no transition. Squat to kick, then froggy. To now ab rows, three, two, let's hit it, go. Squat, last set, last set, whoo. Last set, best set, best set. Cuffy always says, and I love it. I mean, every set, best set, but last set, you're like, Grr. Gotta get through one more set of this, I'm halfway. Get through one more set. Already made it through two, I know I'm powerful enough to make it through this one. 
Finish line's right there. Let's sprint towards it. Squat back. We got five seconds. Keep going. You guys, we got four, three, two, one. Let's get down. Narrow to wide froggies. Woo. We got three, two, one, and abro narrow. Abro knees wide froggy. Woo. Okay, good. Push it in. Let's make it happen. Woo wee. You're doing so good right now. You have less than 10. Here we are. Four, three, two, one. Good. Let's get ready for crabby touches. In three, two, one, and do it. Crabby touches. Whew. Are you loving it? I'm loving them. Whew. Good work, you guys. Good work. Stay strong here. You're past halfway. You got about 10 here. Keep breathing with that. Here we are. Five, four, yes, three, two, one. Good. Whew. Agility hops. What's this? Smells like successful agility hops in here. And two, one. Oh my Lord, let's go. Whew. Big hops. Big long lunge to the side. Pull it at the top. Give it a moment. Good work, good work, good work. You're halfway. You got less than 15. Push it with me, push, push. We can do this. There you go, guys. Five and four. Nice. Three, two, and one. Ah! Yeah! Leg drop with a twist. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Woo! Go time. Leg drop with that twist. You know what the twist on this is? You guys got less than a minute. Less than a minute of working our left. Whew. Drop that down, lift up strong. Swing it over. All right, you're past halfway, way past halfway. Why don't you stay with me here? You guys, 10. Keep going, keep going. We can do this. All right, and you got four, three, two. I'm lifting up for one. Quad blasters, you my best friend. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Hoo. Get it, get it, get it. Go, go, go. Fastest quad blasters you've done all day. Push, push. The last is the best. Because you made it this far. This is our sprint. I want you to go to that finish line before I do. I want you to hustle. You're doing great. My friends, you're 10 seconds. Push, push 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Go, 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 go. Yeah, keep going. All right, my friends, five, breathe, four, three, two, one. Oh, Hi, -ya. High five. We did it. I did it. We did it. You guys are awesome. One, you're done. With two minutes to spare for a cool down. You guys are good. Turn my music down a little bit. Ah. Ah. How you feeling out there? Feeling okay? You feeling successful? You sweating? You should. Like I said, if this was your Monday workout, so proud of you. If this is your replay workout, so just as proud. Okay. R. Sit up, legs wide. Legs wide. Woo. Thank you so much for joining me. Lean forward with those big wide legs. Nice wide legs. Lean forward. Yes, nice. Take one of those bad boys. Walk it over. Give it a squeeze. Give it a hug. I love these days. Mm. The end of that workout. You know when your endorphins are pumping and you push through it, you know you did it. It is always, always the feeling that keeps you coming back, right? People say, I don't understand that. It's so hard to work. You know, I've heard my friends over the years. Different acquaintances they're just general, you know. It's the, uh, if you want it bad enough, you'll find a way. You'll find a reason. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Go ahead, lay on your back for a moment. 
many times we find, have you ever made an excuse for something before you even tried it, before you did it? Do you find yourself encountering situations that you're already looking for how it's not going to work rather than for how awesome you could make the scenario? Right? I find that when it comes to the working out, as you're relaxing here and you're breathing, bring your legs up to the sky, oftentimes it takes that, that is that called the negative motivation that I'm tired of feeling? Tired of feeling stuck, I'm tired of feeling like my cardio's not working. Right? I want to be healthier. And it just takes a couple times working out. Give me those big cat cows before you realize, you know, I thought that the workout was going to be tough, but when I made it through, I was proud of myself and the cool down felt so much better than just laying around on my couch. Even if you're cool down right now, it's just you sitting on the couch drinking some water. Doesn't it feel better than if you hadn't done anything for the past 45 minutes? Right? Fingertips and toes in, slowly roll up. You know, the line of people that make excuses for why they can't do things they haven't even tried yet is so long it could wrap around the world twice. The line of people who get up and do it because they know it's worth it it's a lot shorter, it's a little bit more exclusive, and you're in that line. Two more big deep breaths here. So give yourself a moment of appreciation. Give yourself a pat on the back, one more big deep breath here. Because you're part of that exclusive club that says I don't make excuses. I make goals and I reach them. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. It was awesome. Thanks for not making any excuses. Thanks for whew, dealing with this sweaty mess. Uh, hope to see you soon. Hey, bye.